Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Ald again. I wanted to walk you through how to use this slide for today. Um, when you come to this slide, you need to click on the book right here, and that will open up into Benchmark Universe. Your directions are to read the volcano story on page four, and I am wind on page five in this book, okay? Your questions for this, um, for today, are only going to be based on the volcano story, okay? But you can read both, you can read both of them, okay? All right, so let me go back to the book. Remember, wherever you see the book image, there is a link. So there's a link right here, and then if you go to this page, this is actually also a link, okay? So your directions, remember, were to read the volcano story on page four, and the I am wind on page five. So I clicked on the book, I'm opening up the link, I'm going to sign in with Google and it will take me to my unit eight week one story. And we don't need to save our customiza um, customizations on here. So I'm going to click no and um, I can turn the pages, but I can also click on this little upside down arrow like we talked about last week. And I'm going to choose my story right here. So it takes me there automatically. I'm gonna click on that to close it up and it brings up my book. These are the two stories for today. Remember, you can go ahead and play the story right here or you can read it to yourself. I'm going to read the volcano story to you and help you with your questions. Okay, volcano. Under Earth's crust is a layer of large rocky plates called a mantle. These plates shift and move around. Sometimes plates push against each other with so much force that one plate slides on top of the other. This causes the mantle to melt and push up, melting even more rock. The heat and pressure build up until a vent or crack opens in the crust. This causes an eruption. An eruption, or sorry, an erupting volcano spews hot gas rocks and ash. Molten rock or lava flows down the volcano, changing the landscape forever. Okay, as you notice with this um, passage that we have, it's an informa informational passage. So remember when we talk about the author's purpose, we have persuasive, the P, the I is informational, and the E is um, for entertainment, this one is definitely informational. It's all about volcanoes. It has three paragraphs in here, okay? So let's go back to our questions to see where we can find the answers to these questions. So I'm going to go up here where I have my tabs open and I'm going to go back to today's tab and let's read through our question on here, okay? So it says, read volcano, page four, Describe what is happening in the photo. Okay, so we need to go back and look to see what was happening in the photo and we need to describe it. Now, Mrs. Ald has given you a sentence starter on here. Okay, so in the photo, I see. All right, so how could we answer that? In the photo, what do you see? What do you see? I don't know about you, but I see fire coming out the top. I see lava coming down. And I can actually go to my paragraph three right here, where it talks about what you're going to see. An erupting volcano spews hot gas, rocks, and ash. Molten rock or lava flows down the volcano, changing the landscape forever. So those are some of the things that I can put on that I see. I see an erupting volcano. I see it spewing hot gas and rocks out the top. I see molten rock or lava flowing down the volcano. So when I go back to my passage, I'm going to type here in this text box and I'm going to tap over a little bit. I'm pushing the space bar and I'm going to start my typing, okay? Um, tell me what you see. And then let's look at the next one. Question says, describe the erupting, an eruption using words from the text. So the words from there were really in paragraph two, where it says the heat and pressure build up until the vent cracks and the, opens to the crust. This causes an eruption, okay? So 
Describe what it looked like using